up everybody it's your boy red x black and i'm back with another video in this whole situation this tragic horrible disgusting situation has been turned into this it's been turned into a political issue which is crazy um if you don't know there was a five-year-old and his name was canon hennett and he was killed by this 25 year old man who was the uh their neighbor and they knew the father, knew the guy, Darius uh, Sessoms. And that like he just had dinner with them the day before. And let me, let me scroll down. Yeah, this is the dude right here. He had, they had dinner with them the day before. And for some reason, uh, I guess the, he was, uh, Cannon was riding his bike. And this dude just just shoots him point blank range no explanation no nothing the the siblings of canon witness the situation which makes it even worse because now that's going to scar them for life and as it says in this article um after um let's see he said he saw systems like pacing around all frantic and panicking and whatnot like i Either, he was probably most likely on drugs. I don't know. I'm not even gonna speculate about that. I don't, he's probably he could have been on drugs, but this just this this is this this is horrible. I, like I don't even. It just it's just too random. The stuff is just too random now, and to turn this into a political issue, why didn't the mainstream media say it's? Uh, why didn't the mainstream media report on this? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do this? And I, I get it. You know, I get it because the mainstream media is sensational. They like sensational stories, a story with drama behind it. That's why they drum up this stuff, because they make money. Advertisements, they need more viewership. That's why they do that. It's about money. And a story like this is horrible, but there's not much more you can really do about it. Because he's locked up, they, they immediately locked him up. Like They caught him, I think, within the same day, or maybe the next day. I think it was probably within the same day. And, um, he, like, he's charged with murder now. I think it's first degree or second degree? First or second degree murder. And he's going to face time. And now they're still investigating the motive and everything like that, but he is done. <laughs> His life is over now. And, um, like, this, this is, but this whole story is just, it's just out of whack. It's crazy out of whack. And... The, the little boy he shouldn't he shouldn't be dead right now like they're having his funeral let me find a picture with his face this kid shouldn't be dead right now he should not be dead right now he's supposed to start kindergarten monday just learn how to write his name he shouldn't be dead but i'm, I'm gonna tell you the stories like this don't always get reported in the mainstream media and that's just the fact of the matter and then it's become a whole race thing, saying that Black Lives Matter did this and did, like, how did the, how did this story turn into that? Like, I, well, you know what? I know how this turned into that, but like, why? What was the point? There was no real like point in turning it into that. Like, it, it's just it's it's horror. Like, how how like this is just not. I'm 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 getting just fed up with people now like uh, i think there's a real mental health crisis happening right now in the u.s and in the world like just the world overall and stories like this are a prime example of that the the animalistic nature of human beings is starting to show and it's starting to come out and it's on full display for the world to see it's like we reverted back to our primalist days. There's something wrong. There's something massively wrong here. And it's not really being addressed. And people are saying, well, if the roles were reversed, then it'd be a, a big bad, it'd be a big issue. And the media would be, poor. they probably would be reporting on it because you know what they do? They make money. They capitalize off of everything. They sensationalize everything. That's their job. The media's job should be to report, but no, that's that's their role. They make money. They're corporations. They're owned by corporations. 
What do you expect? They need viewers. So the viewers see the advertising, more ad revenue. Those people get paid millions on TV. That's the whole point. Yes, they will report stories. Yes, they will say something about it. But the, I think the only reason this became a bigger story was because of a lot of people were there was hashtag say his name. And that's like that's almost a play off of when they say for Breonna Taylor, say her name. Or if somebody's killed by the police, they say, say their name or whatnot. And so it, this has just become a battle between people over tragedies. The people in these situations are gone, but they're, they're, their tragic situations get turned into political theater online, on the TV, doesn't matter. And the issues are never addressed because everybody's so worried about fighting each other and trying to one up and uh, I'm right and now I was right and no, you're wrong, you're a terrorist organization, you're this. And it's just, it's, it's stupid. All of it just turned to stupidity now. Th this is, this is ridiculous. This little boy should not be dead. Why this man killed him, I have no idea. This is the, this is the uh, sickening just terrifying story because this could happen to anybody anybody's kid anybody any person and it does happen to anybody kids get killed every day and those stories never get turned into some sensational thing sensational thing the only time they've been more sensationalized recently was when it had to do with protests that's the only time and people were just using those stories as a way to say, look, look, these, these people are bad. They're like, this is this horrible. If, if none of that was going on, those kids got shot, nobody would be saying the thing. It would probably get reported in the local news. Maybe it would become a little bit of a bigger story. But overall, nothing. C crickets. Come on, y'all. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on right now. But something has got to change there is something horribly wrong horribly wrong with society right now like this, i don't like this is bad rest in peace my little brother rest in peace you should not be dead right now you should not be dead right now <sighs> be sure to like comment subscribe subscribe like comment comment subscribe like whenever you do it however you can do it wherever you do it just do it I'm tired of this, guys. I'm really tired of all this. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's it. I'm out. Peace.